Hey everybody, it's Sheila, also known as Keto Me. Um, so I haven't done a couple of videos in a while, <laughs> in the past two normal video days, because I got married. I'm now Sheila Barkley. <laughs> um, it was a wonderful, wonderful weekend. The weather was spectacular. It was in the 70s and 80s all weekend, which I'm sure to my family coming from overseas was a delight. Uh, we spent a lot of time with family before and after the wedding, and we just had a blast. So now that all of that is behind us and we are now living in wedded bliss, <laughs> we're going to um, focus on getting back to normal life here. Um, so I wanted to start off this video by saying this is more of an informational video. I want to talk about um, intermittent fasting. Um, it is a widely popular topic these days, I think because a lot of people are understanding the benefits of it and um, with the popularity of the keto diet, sorry, there are rabbits chewing on some cardboard over there. <laughs> Um, I think it's becoming a little more um, popular as an add-on to the keto diet. So forgive me, I have notes here, I just want to make sure I cover everything. I'm going to break this down into a couple videos talking about this because it is a lot of information and it can be a little overwhelming, especially if you are just starting um, keto or if you're maybe on keto for a while and you're just starting to think about doing intermittent fasting. Um, it is something that works really well for me. Um, I'm kind of testing out the different lengths of fasting and seeing which one fits best into my lifestyle and which one produces the best results for weight loss. Um, so let's start about, let's start with talking about what intermittent fasting is. Fasting has been around for ages and ages, an ancient practice. Um, a lot of people used it for healing or cleansing, uh, for religious practices and enlightenment. Um, it is not a diet. It is a window of eating. So we all naturally have our windows of eating and not eating when we sleep. So when we sleep, we are actually doing a fast. Um, the time frame of eating is the key to um, success with whatever you want to do with the fasting, whether it is for religious reasons or if it is just to do a cleanse or if it is to support your the diet that you're on. One thing I should say is make sure that you consult a doctor before doing a, an intermittent fast. There are people who strongly should consider not doing a fast, especially if you're pregnant, if you have an eating disorder, if you do have chronic stress, if you don't sleep well at all. And I'm not saying just one or two nights where you didn't sleep well, but consistently um, having insomnia. Um, and if you're considering kind of starting a bunch of things at once, say you're going to start the keto diet, then you're going to do intermittent fasting and you want to throw in some hardcore exercise, um, start with the diet first. Get yourself fat adapted. And that usually happens, you know, it varies from person to person, but it usually happens within I'd say three to six months of doing the keto diet and you will know when you're fat adapted. You won't have any ups and downs in your cravings. You won't have um, those keto flu symptoms anymore. You're going to feel energetic and you're not going to have hunger pains. That is when you should start intermittent fasting if it's something you want to try. Um, Always take your supplements, especially if you're doing fasting. Make sure you do your magnesium, your potassium, uh, folic acid, um, any other supplements that you want to take that really work well for your body. And I always take a Super B vitamin complex um, supplement because it does help me with my energy levels. So 
we're going to start with the easy 12-12 intermittent fasting um, cycle. It means you are going to eat for 12 hour periods. So let's say you get up at six in the morning and you're going to eat breakfast. That means you end your eating at 6 p.m. and then start again the next morning at 6 a.m. And obviously you can make that time, uh, 12 hour time frame whenever you want. Um, that is the easiest one because you are actually including your sleep in there. So really, you're only consciously fasting for, you know, anywhere from five to maybe just a couple of hours, depending on how long you sleep. So what it does for you is it gives your digestive system a break. It takes a lot of energy in the body to digest your food, to create the enzymes, the fluids, the contractions of the muscles, the, the workings of the organs to break down the food you eat and distribute it in the body in the way it needs. That takes a lot of energy. So it gives your body a break because you, you basically digest your food within about eight hours of eating it. So if your last meal is at 6 p.m., then you're gonna be basically finishing up digesting that food by 2 a.m. or so. So that gives your body that extra four or five hours maybe to concentrate on other things in the body, whether it be cell reproduction or, um, you know, to make sure that the body is detoxing, to uh, regenerate cells, to, you know, help with all sorts of functions of the body to recoup and regenerate. It also helps to lower your insulin because you are going a longer period of time without eating and as you know if you're doing keto as soon as you eat something your body is going to produce insulin to break down the sugar. So this is another key point in doing the keto diet along with intermittent fasting because you're already using fat as energy. So the transition between eating a meal and not eating for a long period of time is so much easier. You're not going to feel the highs and lows of, of you know, carb and sh blood sugar levels. This is also a good time to check your blood sugar levels if you're doing intermittent fasting. You want to see what your blood sugars are at after doing a fast. This way of um, doing intermittent fasting could be enough for you to break a plateau. It could be enough for you to be into a calorie deficit so that you will start losing weight again. Um, fasting, what I've read on, on the keto forums and, and blogs that I've come across, um, a lot of people do break a long-term plateau with a fast. So maybe it's something that you just do to break a plateau and then your body, your metabolism is just kick-started again. It also keeps you in a healthy eating pattern. So when you are not doing a fast, you're just sort of eating maybe breakfast, lunch, dinner, you might be maybe eating too late at night or not eating enough food in your day, or maybe eating too much in your day. But intermittent fasting makes you more consciously aware of when you're eating, when you're not eating. Your mind is a very powerful thing to your body. And when you're used to eating breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, you don't want to just jump into doing a 24 hour fast or even a 12 hour fast because you're psychologically going to be freaked out by not eating because you're so used to it. It becomes a ritual. It becomes something that your brain will trigger your body to feel hungry even though you're not hungry really. It's just a, a way of your body being used to how you're doing things in your life will tell you to, to act or to do. 
So this is a good um, way to just start off fasting. You could even do, a, you know, in your 12 hours of eating, eat, start with three meals a day. So cut out your snacks if you're eating snacks so that you're, you get into a rhythm of eating less often. And then once that starts feeling normal to you, then you can go to eating twice a day and that will really help you too. And it really lowers your insulin when you don't eat as many meals during the day. So you're, you're lowering your insulin with the keto diet. You're lowering your insulin by not eating as often, maybe two meals a day instead of three. And then you're also lowering your insulin levels by fasting. So it's a win, win, win. And you're gonna notice really big changes in your body. You'll probably lose weight initially, but then you're gonna notice you're gonna just start to lean up and start to lose inches. And I think that's where the magic happens. Your weight is simply the scale measuring your body mass. It doesn't measure all of the things that compose your mass individually. It's just one big mass measurement. So take the, the scale with a grain of salt. Um, one thing you can do too is drink extra water, especially um, if you're starting to feel a hunger pain coming on because your mind is telling you, hey, it's lunchtime, you need to eat, and you wanna wait till maybe two o'clock in the afternoon to eat. So drink water, make sure you're well hydrated, that will help. Um, like I said, don't um, feel like you have to stick to an intermittent fast if you're feeling lightheaded, if you feel shaky, if you feel like um, you don't have concentration. These are all signs of low blood sugar, so make sure that you consult with your doctor first of all and um, check your blood sugars if you do um, have those symptoms um, even once if you feel like you have those symptoms I would get a, a glucose meter and check your blood sugars it's something that if you're doing keto you should really have no problem doing if you do you do intermittent fasting isn't for everyone but try it. Try to go, like I said, 12 hours of eating and just cut out snacking and just eat three meals a day within that 12 hour period. Once that feels better, then shorten your eating window. Um, there are many, many um, interesting articles and there are a lot of um, doctors and specialists who have videos out on intermittent fasting. I highly recommend that you watch them. Um, Dr. Berg, obviously he has so many great videos on um, the health benefits of fasting. And Dr. Fung, he's really good too. He basically, that is his thing. So I recommend his videos um, greatly. So that's my spiel for today. I want you to really think about how long have I been on keto? Do I feel fat adapted? Do I feel like I'm not hungry and I'm not craving? I have energy. I have mental clarity. I, you know, I'm losing weight. I'm losing inches. And you're feeling good about it. Try it to see if it sort of boosts your metabolism. Try it if you're thinking of doing some exercise after you've been fat adapted with keto. It, Exercising while you are fasting is shown to have really amazing health benefits and uh, will lean you up amazing. Um, and if that works for you, then do this for a while and see if you can go a little bit longer. See if you can do a 16-8 fast. Um, I'll get into this in my next video about the health benefits of doing longer fasts, but you will get into more of an immune system boost when you do a longer fast. So that's for next time. Uh, in my next video, I am going to review a keto product and we're going to cook some food. So thank you for watching this. Um, if you have any comments, if you've tried intermittent fasting and you have any 
ideas or suggestions or recommendations. I'd love to hear from you. Share this video if you know anyone who's interested in, in intermittent fasting. I would love to um, spread the word about it and answer any questions that you might have. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. And um, we'll see you next time. Hope you have a wonderful day and like this video with a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.